hope of the Pac-12 based on opportunity and based on talent. Welcome to the Voice of College Football 2021 predictions as we march through every team in the Power Five and set you up with our conference championship game picks and playoff predictions as well, which will come a little bit later. And we hope to hit the mark that we hit in 2020 when we correctly picked Alabama to win the national championship game against Ohio State back in August. All right, this is our first team that we're attacking as we go to the Great Northwest and the Oregon Ducks. Back-to-back Pac-12 championships, although the 2020 version a bit tainted, and this also most likely the most talented roster in the conference, working on three consecutive number one classes in the Pac-12 in 2022. All right, let's look at the opportunity for Oregon. It's the toughest game maybe that anyone will face in the Pac-12 this season, a date in Columbus in week two, that obviously would seem to have national championship implications for the playoff, but also for the Pac-12 championship, obviously it doesn't weigh into that. Looking at the conference schedule for Oregon, there's really no elite competition to have to face. There are no real difficult stretches where Oregon has to face back-to-back -back difficult games. Now, there are two three-game stretches that could be a little bit tricky for the Ducks. Uh, consider the two seasons ago, Oregon was lined up to make a strong bid for the college football playoff, and late in the season, with a couple weeks to go, they lost the game at Arizona State, in which they were a huge favorite. So we're looking at games in which Oregon, based on where we stand right now, could be a substantial favorite, but still tricky games. Keep in mind that every week in the top 25, 20 to 25% of the games are upsets, and many of those are double-digit upsets. So we're looking for the upsets possibilities here for the Oregon Ducks. Again, the trip to Columbus in Week 2 is the biggest game for the Pac-12 in years. Consider that Washington had two important dates a few years ago in taking on Auburn, and then also these Oregon Ducks in losing in the last second against Auburn a few years ago. That was the marquee game for the best team in the Pac-12. But that Auburn team was barely a top 25 team in those seasons. This Oregon team is most likely facing a top five team in the nation and a national championship contender. If Oregon could pull off the victory in Columbus, it suddenly puts the Pac-12 on the map, makes people think, especially the College Football Playoff Committee, to reassess the Pac-12. And of course, the conference has a number of key non-conference affairs, but this is the marquee game of the season for the Pac-12 out of conference with Oregon going to Columbus. I think the Ducks have a pretty good shot of defeating the Buckeyes. Looking at the Pac-12 schedule, again, no daunting tasks in regards to back-to-backs. Three-game stretch against some decent teams here, Stanford, Cal, and UCLA. We're talking about top 40 to 50 competition. We're not talking about great teams here. But Stanford, Cal, and UCLA, with two of those games on the road, could wear down the Ducks, and maybe they're susceptible at the Rose Bowl against UCLA. Look out for that game. Also look out for this stretch. What could de decide the Pac-12 North Division, of course, is a date in Seattle against the Huskies. Uh, Washington technically won the Pac-12 North last season. Jimmy Lake in his second season. Washington State, one of the worst teams in the Pac-12, but... On the back end, it's a date at Utah. So at Washington, at Utah, could be tricky for Oregon coming down the stretch, much like their loss to Arizona State a couple years ago in which they were vying for a college football playoff appearance and lost in Tempe as a double-digit favorite late in the season. So for Oregon football, there's no Arizona State, there's no USC. So consider this. Oregon has the easiest path of anybody to a Pac-12 championship game out of the North Division. They are most likely missing, depending on your opinion, the top two teams in the Pac-12 South Division. No USC, no Arizona State for Oregon. The dated Columbus, I believe, is going to be a loss. But don't be surprised if they pull out a win against the Buckeyes on the road. But most likely a loss there, considering the dates that we see right there, bracketed, and in particular, UCLA, Washington on the road, Utah on the road. I see Oregon losing twice in the Pac-12 and losing the date in Columbus. So 9-3 and three for Oregon, 7-2 and two in the Pac-12. Will it be good enough 
to advance Pac-12 uh, Oregon to the Pac-12 championship game for a third consecutive season. Of course, you're going to have to check out the other videos, and at the end of all 65 in the Power of Five, we will break down the conference championship games and our selections for the college football playoff. Right here at the Voice of College Football, please like, comment, leave your comments below about Oregon football and about the process here, uh, right here at the Voice of College Football. Mark Rogers, TV.